welcome to Live Wednesday. I always love our little jingle. I can't help to dance, so I don't know if you saw my little moves before I was before we got live on here. Welcome. We're so excited. Surprise. I'm going to wait until the Instagrammers go. Oh, hi, Instagram. Uh, we're here um, also on Facebook and YouTube. You get me today, Teacher Marisa. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, we do have, Leanne is here. Hello, we, <laughs> she's saying hi. Um, we did a little switcheroo today. Um, she's actually taking my spot. I think she just wants to see if I'm doing my job correctly. But then now I have to fill her shoes, so I don't know if, yeah. So we'll see how that works out today. Um, so she will actually be asking me your questions, so don't forget to ask your questions. And we also have Caledonia in the studio today. Yay! Yay, Caledonia! <laughs> so you, you all know that Caledonia works from afar, so she's here visiting. Um, so she came by just to help in the studio today. So exciting. Um, I think David's tuning in at home, right? Yes, yeah, so he'll be on probably saying hi to everybody. Uh, and then teacher Carolyn's over at the classroom. So again, things have been super busy we are going on let's see today is day 13 of basic class so almost graduation time going directly into advanced class and then we're going to slow down a little bit but still got a whole bunch of the online grading going on so um yes i'm super excited to be here so uh let's see here today we're going to talk about candles okay um when i found out yesterday that i was going to do candles for you all Woo, talk about trying to dig out some inspiration. Let's talk about that, but the candles was the first thing. So if you do have any questions, just go ahead and feed them on in and Leanne will ask me them and I will hopefully have an answer for you or Leanne's here to help me answer them for you. <laughs> so um, if, let's see, Leanne could probably help me with this. If you want a bigger screen, right? You want to turn your phone this way and let's see, what are the other things? Don't forget to share. Share, share, share with everyone so they can see me today. How about that? <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Um, let's just talk really quick about different types of candles. So let me grab a few things. Let's see, so we have battery operated candles. We have uh, submergible lights. I'm just gonna go off screen for a second. We have uh, pillar candles, different sizes. I'm actually gonna take this one out here. Uh, the only one uh, candle I could, could not find was a votive, and I'm really, really sorry. However, I'm pretty sure you know what votives are, but they're just the little tiny, kind of like cylinders with the candle already inside. Um, just basically a smaller version of, sorry if that was too loud, of this guy. Okay, so first and foremost, with candles, especially if you're going to do this for event work, definitely contact the venue to talk about their fire code. Some venues actually do not allow candles. So make sure you talk to them about that. If they do allow candles, they're probably going to have to be enclosed in something. Um, sometimes even the votive candles that when they come already packed with the candle inside, sometimes it's still too short and that won't pass fire code. So make sure you figure out or you ask them how how much space you need in between the candle and the lip of the container. So that's super, super, super important. However, if you're gonna uh, provide candles for say a home, like do them in a centerpiece, you don't have to worry about really encasing them because they're not really have, they don't really have a fire code at their home, right? However, you should still have the conversation with your customer just to see if they would like it enclosed or not. Okay. So with, let's see, candles here, different sizes. I'm sure most of you know this. I mean, even with my candles, um, that I have at home, you always want to cut the wick, think about an inch or so, and that helps um, for one, lighting the candle, and then it also eliminates all the smoke. Um, I do suggest, too, um, cutting this and then lighting them first. I'm not going to be lighting any candles in here because, yeah. But um, light them first, too, just it helps um, you to light them later at the event and or for the customer. 
Let's see, is there anything going on out there before I keep going? You know, Marisa, I'm having troubles keeping up. This side is uh -huh. far. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> still, uh, your tribe is here. Um, Francesca Sophia from down in L.A. is here. Hi. Angela Hoy, Roger Stanley, Angela. Wayne Noel, James oh, Gregg. Bye, is people. Bringing us some more treasures. Oh, Ooh. Like Roxy and Kelly Cross. So hi. we have quite a great group here today. And I want to actually say hi to Roxy. She actually came to the ninth moon over the weekend so it was really great that was a really great surprise to see you roxy so yay everybody hi okay so in addition to um our traditional candles the ones that you can actually light there's also battery operated ones um is this actually real wax this feels quite real it yeah it is a wax isn't that cool yeah this is really cool so it is real however it's battery operated and What's actually cool, I don't think you can all, I don't think you all can see, but what's really cool with this one, this type, is that it actually flickers inside, so it, you, you would, your customers wouldn't even know. It's really, really cool. And then they come little tea light size. This one, you actually just twist. I definitely, in my opinion, I would probably put this in a glass container because it would just look, it would just look more real than just there you go just sitting there that kind of looks a little fake there so then one of my favorites and i we, there's just so many great products out there i used to actually use these all the time these are the acolytes these ones you just twist and they light up and they're submergible can you imagine for those of you that know me the things i've done with these um, I'm actually going to do something really, really quick with this so you can see. Um, these also come in a whole bunch of different colors. My favorite one actually is the multicolor one that when you turn it on, it goes from like red to blue to green to amber. It's really, really cool. So let's see here. So I'm going to put these aside. Is there any questions so far? No questions, okay. but so many of the tribes. Bill Paddle, John Kittinger, Robin, Andrew McPhee says that battery is the way to go if you have birds. <laughs> now, I want to know why that is. That's an interesting thing. Yeah, Andrew, expand on that. Why is it better? He said for birds? And we've got Julie, Tammy, and Mark, and Diane all stepping in here. So glad you could make it, Diane. And yeah, and what about, I love it. What about Team YouTube? What's going on YouTube? Teresa, Janet Corral, Greg Baker, Marmac. Um, we have Vlatka from Croatia. Ooh, glad you Croatia. can join us. And also, if there's any, um, is it, if this is your first time here with us on live, please let us know who you are um, so we can just, you know, greet you on in and just make you feel at home. Yeah, Ola Gabriel from Ecuador from Ecuador. We just have people from all over the world. All over the world. It's so exciting. Instagram's okay. going crazy going too, crazy. so hey, welcome to Everywhere. our Instagram family. <laughs> okay, so for this one, this is just gonna be super quick and simple. Um, I personally did this a lot for actually cocktail table arrangements, or even if you just wanna have something just cool around your home or uh, pretty much anywhere. Okay, so watch this. So I'm just gonna take, oh, just some, cool looking um i think this is actually a uh, crushed glass so i'm just gonna sorry if this is gonna be a little loud so just actually i have to put the light in first because i have to cover it up and turn it on oh get this right in here there then now i'm gonna pour the rocks on top so again sorry if this is loud oh look at how cool okay and then I'll be right back. <clears throat> so like I said, this is submergible. I'm gonna go ahead and add some water here. They kind of look like Red Hots. Remember Red Hots, the candy? Okay. And then uh, I took one of the Versalia roses and I just cut it off the stem here. I cut it all the way up to the top here. I don't want a, any little stem showing. I just want it very clean. But look, you could just take this and float this right on top. And can you imagine cocktail hour, the, it's usually the, um, the lighting's a lot dimmer. So 
This week, we're not going to turn off the lights and show you what this looks like in the dark. <laughs> However, um, this will just look very, very nice in a low lit room. Um, you could even put a bit of bear grass, a piece of curly well in there just to um, fill in that space. But I used to do this a lot for event work. So hope you like that little simple arrangement there. Um, with uh, also just another little tidbit with the submerged lights, um, I actually used to do let's say, say tall cylinder vase with the dish on top. I used to put the submergible lights underneath and then turn them on so they would shine down. It's really, really cool. Okay, so let's see. Any questions so far? We've got Lanzu Chinese Garden on with us, and Vista uh, Floral PDX is on, and then Andrew responded that birds' respiratory systems oh. are different, and they will die from candle fumes or anything coated with Teflon. Oh. So well, basically chemical. Okay, well thank you Andrew for that tip. So no, so no candles around birds. Okay, so next one here. Look, I have no idea where this came from, but I just saw this in the warehouse and I was like, I, this was just the inspiration, the container here. So it's, this is actually a full brick of foam here and then about a half a brick just wedged in. So it is very, very, very wedged in here. No need to tape. I mean, this is not going anywhere. Yes, there are a little bit of indentations here because I did have to practice a little bit, okay? Okay, so for this one, let's see, I'll be right back. This one. I have to make sure I don't mix the white with the ivory because I want to keep the harmony the same. So make sure you, if you're going to use white and or ivory, keep them the same. Okay, so with our pillar candles, we have these cool um, pillar stakes. So these ones, look, it just fits right in. Perfect. So we'll place this one right here. Okay, next one. Notice too, uh, they're all, there's three different sizes. Just for, again, just, um, just for rhythm, just so your eyes move a little bit faster throughout the design. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and put in another candle stake, placing it just a little bit farther back, just for some depth. Now, what happens if you don't have candle stakes? You can use anchor pins, okay, so. I already did this one, but I'm gonna show you how to uh, attach the anchor pin on with the floral clay. Oops. Just in case you didn't see the live that I did with Kato, here's just a refresher. So you're gonna use floral clay. You don't need a lot of this. Oh, I don't know, maybe about an inch or two or so. Let's go back to preschool days and just make a little twisty worm, if you will. I almost think I have too much. So I'm just making a little twisty worm, grabbing an anchor pin, and I just go around the outer perimeter of the anchor pin just like this. Look, I already have too much. So you don't need a lot of this. And the same thing that you would do to adhere this to a container, you just go on the bottom and then give it a nice little twist and it's, it's really, really on there. So if you don't have pillar candles, this is another way to um, attach or secure your candles into your arrangement. There we go. Alrighty. So I've got this part started. Now let's add our flowers. Um, looking at these Banksia protea over here, I think these would look fabulous with this container, right? Um, you can already see that they would fit perfectly right here. So I'm going to go ahead and place these here, shadowing them. And I'm actually going to remove as, as neat and cool as their foliages are, I am going to remove these. Can anyone possibly guess why I'm going to move, excuse me, remove the, there's kind of a hint here, why I'm going to remove the leaves? Let's see if anyone can answer that question. I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. Okay, I'm going to have to turn this around. 
I haven't practiced designing backwards yet. One of these days is the one thing that Leanne definitely has on me. Thinking about sequencing, I'm actually gonna break these because they're a little bit too tough with my knife. Placing the smaller one in the front. Oh, Caledonia has a question or a comment. Lori answered fire with many exclamation points. Totally. Yes, because <laughs> they would be over here, and you don't. I don't want any materials above the flame to catch on fire. So yes, and you are exactly right. To create harmony with the candles because they would have a similar shape. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's yep. Yeah, that's also definitely another Roger reason why. Would also said about the flame. <laughs> and then Diane wants to know what kind of. That is, and I'm typing in Banksia. It's a Banksia protea, B-A-N-K-S-I-A, -A, right? I think yeah. I, I think I did it. <laughs> yeah, I think I did it. Yeah, these are, for me personally, um, when these are actually cut fresh, uh, I had um, very, very, very lucky in Southern California. Um, I actually had a grower that would come and actually bring these to me directly. These smell like butter when they're freshly cut. I don't know if anyone else agrees or actually has ever smelled that, but I just, I love butter, so they just smell great. Um, it actually looks really nice actually from, I actually like it better from this side, so I'm gonna, this is gonna be the front for me. Okay, so, so now I'm just gonna add in some Fatsia. Let's see, maybe some right over here and maybe couple over here, this would be actually, I'm gonna show you this really quick when I turn this around. Staying with, again, harmony, and or should I say rhythm. So do you notice here I have two candles here, one candle here, one fatsia here, two here to repeat the candle. So that's, I'm staying within the rhythm, and I'm just gonna do the same thing on the back side. Or actually, I can do the completely opposite. I can do actually one towards the back back here. And I could even do two over here. So just really also creating balance overall. Notice I'm kind of actually going up into the foam so this breaks the line of the container so that goes down a little bit. I've already taken uh, these magnolia leaves off the branch. Um, but I absolutely love using the back side of magnolia leaves. Yes, this is pretty, but just that, that velvety and the color is so pretty. And then to bring the color out, the Binksia, it makes me happy. I wish you could have seen me today, uh, Leanne, in the class today with, I do have to, um, uh, give a shout out to Bo, who's in the class. Um, he's from Hawaii. Um, his bug vase that he did today, both of them twice, they were designed to a price point. His aesthetic is just, he's really, he's just really getting it. But he, it's so funny, these little things that get us excited. He put this, these two pieces of bear grass and tied it perfectly around the Gerber daisy. I just was like freaking out. Just these little things. I'm sorry. Love but anyway. Oh my God. Yeah. Let's see, so if we, do we have any questions? Sophie from Maui sent you her love, and Annalise just checked in as well. Hi. And Donna just checked in. And Roxy wants to know what is the best product to use to treat magnolia leaves. What is the best product to use to, hmm. Um, I personally haven't really ever used much to treat them. Um, just because, uh, especially the backside of the, um, magnolia, because it's that, the fuzzy, um, I feel like it can distort the look of it. Um, you could possibly maybe use leaf shine on the front on the green side, but I don't really, I don't usually treat magnolia with anything. What about you, Leah? Do you? I usually leave it plain. Yeah. I find it just best. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. So let's see here. I'm going to just place a few more of these just so you can see what I'm doing. And actually, when I was practicing yesterday, it looked a little bit different, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, so if we don't have any questions, do you guys want to hear a story? 
Leanne's probably going to cringe with this story, but... <laughs> okay, Uh-oh. it's a candle story. So, like I said, sometimes... Okay, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make it short. Okay, so with candles. I was doing a wedding one time. Um, this was at the Richard Nixon Library down in Orange County. Um, so let's see here. Each table centerpiece was the manzanita branches, and each one had about 10 hanging votives with floating candles inside. Long story short, as we were trying to do the transfer from the ceremony to the reception, my workers come running out. They're like, Marisa, the, 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 string, cause the, the string that I was hanging from was like hemp string, so it's very dry. The flame was catching the string on fire. And I was like, oh, awesome. So it's either I had to decide, do I bring the arch in or do I, do we provide actual candle light? I just felt with 30 tables, 10 per table, 300 candles, uh, candlelight would be probably a bit more effective. So I did make an executive decision. So we literally had to go through each one and shave each one down so they fit shorter so we could actually light them and Thank God I didn't have to go to federal prison and burn down the Richard Nixon library. But that was, that's my candle story. Yes, Leanne. <laughs> Liz is joining us from Australia and says that Banksia is a native flower there. So it's How exciting. Does, um, do, I just want to know, do you see that like growing like along the side of the road? Just, I mean, I was just in Orange County a couple weeks ago and being able to see like Bird of Paradise just everywhere. I literally wanted to cut them, put them all in my bag and bring them back here for advanced class. But, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn this around. Look how cool this looks. Do you see the contrast there? Can you imagine if they, I mean, yes, it would still be pretty if they were turned around the other side, but this is just, oh, this makes my heart go pitter patter. Okay, so let's see, what else? Let's grab some of these. Beautiful Sahara roses. Um, I don't see these very often, Sahara. They're like a, they're almost like a, like a nude na neutral color, like skin tone. I personally actually, um, these are one of my favorite varieties um, when they're actually very, very fresh and their their petals are, they almost look like porcelain. I just think they're, I think they're fabulous. Okay. They're loving this. So many hearts. Okay, okay guys, if you do love it, heart it, share it, tag it, give Marisa some love, because that is gorgeous. Did you hear that? Love it, heart it, share it. It's Mossy on YouTube says so Aloha, and then he can't wait for the ninth movie. Oh my gosh. Okay, Tomasi, hi. Can I just say thank you so much for those really cool pine needles? I could I haven't even been able to dis dissect it yet. I have it still out in the warehouse in my little area where I keep all my things. I just, I'm almost kind of intimidated by it because it's so cool, but I'm going to actually really dissect it. Thank you so much. <sighs> Tomasi was uh, one of the uh, Ninth Moon competitors and just, we will probably share one of his tips maybe with a food item maybe i don't know that's that's a leanne thing um but it was just so cool what he shared with us so um hi tomasi okay so bringing in these beautiful vesalia roses these are like a light peach <sighs> giving some of these roses just a little bit of a blow so they can open up and shine just a little bit more <sighs> let's see here maybe Maybe one more back here. Liz said they have different things here growing beside the road. Uh, some of them are like candles on a tree. One low growing variety is actually a Banksia birthday candle. Huh. So that would be so fascinating to see. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That would actually be really, really great to see. When I actually turn this around, what's actually going to be really cool and interesting for you all to see is how I am obviously I'm sequencing however I'm also creating visual uh, balance with the color of the roses for one the Sahara roses are obviously a lighter color and the um, Versalia is darker but the Versa Versalia is also larger so you'll see here when I turn it around, if they were 
if they were switched just visually, um, I, the balance wouldn't be as strong. So I just wanted to show you that. I'm just gonna place a couple more roses back here. Do you all also notice that I'm not going any, well besides, besides the banks, yeah, I'm not going, in, I'm not going any taller here because again, the, there's gonna be a flame here. And I'm gonna keep this spacing right here so nothing catches on fire. Okay, let's see, maybe one more. Let's see, let's see, what else should we put in here? Ooh, look at these. What about these cymbidium orchids? I, I hope there's some hearts coming on there. You got because, lots right? of love. <laughs> so much love. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry that I keep having to turn this around. Like I said, Leanne, one of these days. Someday you'll get it. Some, oh someday I'll get it. Okay, so before I place these in, I was about to almost say class. I was just in class this morning, so that's usually... There's not a lot of uh, real estate on the stem, so I'm actually going to add water tubes. They want to know what container are you using? Uh, honestly, I just found it in the warehouse. So it's, it's a metal container. I don't know if you actually added the... They came covered with birch bark. I purchased it that way. So it came with the bark over right. it? Do you know? Do you and know? I believe I got it at Floral Supply Syndicate. Okay. So water tubes come in little uh, little sizes. They are little sizes, but different sizes. I think this is a two inch, I'm just guessing. Um, but this is just gonna give me a little bit more length here to insert directly into the foam there. Ooh. Teddy on on Instagram says she loves this idea and is planning to do it for her dining table for sure. Awesome. Yay, so exciting. That makes me so happy. And you know, you can, I would love, you know, sh share it with us. You are more than welcome to actually, you know, put in your, your um, like the next time you, you, when you actually make it and the next time you're on live, I think you all can add photos into comments, right? Yes. Yeah, we would love to see. Okay, so I want to show you something because I'm struggling getting some of these, some mediums in here. Sometimes what I do is I just slit the very, very top and then it should just go right in. There you go. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to face, you'll see, I'm going to face these orchids going upwards so their throats are going up. You'll see here in a second. Um, so it looks like they're all talking to each other. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swing this around again. Oh, I just love this. I love, love, love the color. So Caledonia, being on this side is hard. What are we thinking? <laughs> Thank you so much for getting Susie. <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally forgot to hey, mention Susie. Susie. We love you. I love you more than they do. <laughs> Susie, yeah. I, I, I can't even, I can't even, I'm so sorry. Well, I mean, it does, I, I can say I, I made it up over the weekend because I actually, texted her the other day saying, we're actually gonna have an actual phone conversation soon, so uh, let's not forget Susie on YouTube. Um, she's just amazing. Um, just let's give hearts to everybody. Hearts to Leanne, hearts to Caledonia, hearts to Ooh. David, just everybody, everybody, Susie. Somebody had another question about the vase that the Symbidiums were in. What were they in? Oh. Just oh. a generic, so nothing special? No, just a generic. Base. So a standard doesn't Oh, I think she's asking what the green next to the base that Cymbidium's in were. I think she was asking about... Um, this? Oh, yeah. I think... No, I think it's the one right there. Silver tree? Silver? This this one? Oh, this one? Well, how... Well, guess what? I totally forgot about this one, and I actually wanted to use it in this one. Okay, so Hope, is that what you're looking at? Is that one it? If it is, yell and scream. Tell us more, because we are kind of losing it on this. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Um, yes, yeah, so the, I had Fine. one stem of silver tree. This is actually related to protea, uh, to leucodendron. Uh, this stuff is... I just look at it, I just can't stop touching it. The color of it, the silver, um, the texture of it, all of it. It's just the sheen on it, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm actually gonna cut it in half. So Wayne says Truffle has cat is watching you too. Hi Kitty! <laughs> Hi Truffle! <laughs> okay, 
let's bring, ooh, actually, let's bring some of this right back here. Just, oh. That's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> you have a gaping hole on the side. Okay, well, I'm not you done yet. Are I'm not oh done yet. <laughs> Okay, you sound like the you sound like the students this morning. They're like, they're like, you have a hole on that side. I'm like, I am not done yet. Just hold on a second. Donna and Monique and Hope all said yes to the silver tree, and Donna yes. said yes, that's what she's looking for. Yep, uh, that we're is finding actually it. Is. Okay, so I'm going into our Gravelia really quick, and I let's see how. Ooh, and designing on the edge is rooting for you on Instagram, saying, give her a minute to finish. Hey, thank you. <laughs> so, hold on a second. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to place some of this Grevillea right down here. And really, you all are supposed to be seeing this from the front side, not the back side, okay? So. <laughs> Petcha's on with us on Instagram, too. I'm sorry, who? Petcha. Oh, my gosh, hi. Thank you for joining us. I can yelling, they love the texture. Yeah. And Lori says that the silver tree made it. Yep. I guess if you yeah. just have silver tree, you don't really need anything else. Yeah, kind of. That's usually kind of how it works. I mean, really, when you just have really great material to work with, um, it helps a lot. And honestly, I cannot express this enough. And I mention this in class all the time. In my opinion, it's color. If you get color right, in my opinion, pretty much almost anything can be pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna just stop there. I'm gonna finish the back later. But look at that. Just the, oh, I just love the colors, the, like the pastel colors with the, with the brown and the tans and the neutrals. I just love it. David Type your screen. No bickering on camera. No bickering on camera. <laughs> Okay, um, tap your screams if, if you like it. Um, put those hearts in there. I'm gonna go ahead and move this one aside and bring this one back later. They wanted to know the spelling of Grevillea. It's G-R-E, Views and Victor, I-L-L-I-A, and I put it into the feed as well, so this ready. Great, thank you. Okay, I have three total that I wanna show you, so I'm gonna Really get them. Really want to get this done today. Lots of love coming in, Yay. guys. So yeah, I think she do a great job. That Thank was you. fabulous. Thank oh you. my gosh, good job. <sighs> okay, one down. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so next one. They want to dim the lights and light the candles. No, <laughs> no, not today. David's That's watching. <laughs> okay, so for this one, um, I just have a um, just a low plastic dish. Went ahead and put. Uh, the oasis inside and taped across. I actually used um, one inch waterproof tape. Uh, the reason why I just wanted a little bit more security than I would with the quarter inch. Then, Caledonia has a question. Wait, Noelle is wondering what color harmony the last design was. I don't know. I think everyone should put that in themselves. I'm not. And you're getting lots of love on YouTube. Okay, good. Don't Thanks, you YouTube. Uh, oh, I don't have it back here. Um, I'm gonna leave that all up to you. So the colors that were in it were mostly brown and peach, really, if you will. Brown, peach, I guess you can maybe put gold in there as well, but let's see if anyone can get that. Uh, so for this one, um, okay, so I have the red pillar candle in here. Um, notice that I did add rocks inside. The reason why I did that was because when I placed it in here, just the scale looked a little bit too short. So I really just added rocks here just to elevate a little bit to make it a little bit more showy. When you, if you do do this and add rocks, oops, make, sorry. Make sure your rocks are somewhat uniform in size because you don't want to put different sizes in there and then you're, um, uh, your vase, to, or excuse me, your candle is going to kind of look a little wonky. Then, um, if you didn't have anything to secure the um, vase here, what I did, talk about inspiration. What inspired me was the delivery systems that we show in class. Um, it's, the, it's the black 
um, trays, if you will, that have holes in it, and then you put poles in it, and it holds your holds your design in place. So I took a hyacinth stake, and I just cut them shortly and just placed them around here to hold this in place. So, and then once you actually start placing more material on here, this will also hold pretty well. You could uh, also uh, use uh, anchor pins on the bottom. However, I know floral clay on glass. I don't know if that works quite well. Um, you may want to play with that. Um, you glue might actually work on the bottom of an anchor pin. So um, also notice too, when you cut, I actually turned each one around so you don't see the white on the, on the other side, but it's all going to get hidden. Okay, so let's start designing. My candle's a little bit crooked. I'm just going to balance this out a little bit. Teacher Anna just joined us. Hi, Anna. And then Anna Lee says she's going to write the exam next week. Any tips? She's going to... To write an exam, so she must be doing her online testing. Oh, the CFD? I would guess. Yes. Any tips? Any tips? This is what I tell the class. Any tips? I would be right back. And I would then guess is we have a neutral analogous so far. I would, well, I'm just going to wait to see if anyone else wants to answer even more. Yeah. Uh, Annalise, um, it was Annalise, correct, that was asking about the CFD. Um, in my opinion, I think my best advice would to be to learn how to navigate around that book. So the thing what's really great about that book, if you go back to the index, pretty much any, for the most part, term, terminology, uh, like, like the word that you're looking for, like pave, um, analogous, even Paul, balance. There's so many different words that you can just look up back there and they just gives you a page number. So really just knowing how to navigate around the book to find your answer, I feel would be the best. Caledonia. Greg Baker on YouTube has two candle questions. Oh One's boy. A tip for removing the blackened end of candles if you're using them once lit. And then also how to remove wax from the cylinders. Great question. Okay. Grab some salal and I'll just start designing as I go. Um, a really great tip for um, uh, Greg removing the, the wax, if you actually add a little bit of water to the bottom of the vase first, first like this, and then just, oops, so sorry, add your candle. Um, and once it um, starts to melt, it usually just pops off. I've also heard that if you put it in your cooler, um, they tend to pop off too. Um, honestly, to tell you the truth, sometimes it just takes way too long and I just, I just buy new ones. So um, as far as the black on the candle, I don't, I don't know about that one. Do you know about that one, Leanne? You know, that one, um, I tend to sand them down with a nylon. Sand them down with, oh, some pantyhose? So can you do that on candles, I think? Yeah, yeah. Can so sand it, sand, it, sand it off with some, some nylon? You know, like a nylon fabric. Nylon fabric, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah, I've, um, never, I've never tried that, too. Jen and Diane both agreed with you on the testing questions for Annalise. So they're validating you on that one. OK, so I wonder, so it was Jen and who else? Jen and uh, Diane. Jan, Jen and Diane. I wonder if they actually, if they have tested and if, if that's why they're they saying. They both did. They did, yes. yes. Great. They both have um, gone through FDI, CFP, awesome. and finished it. So that proves that I'm doing my job correctly. I'm telling Yay! you guys the right things. <laughs> Certified floral designers for the win. For everybody. OK. So notice here, just adding in some foliage. Um, I'm actually going to try to go up a little bit here, going up. Let's see. I'm going to grab some curly willow. Did anyone else guess the uh, color harmony? No, we have not done it yet. So tell me guess again. Tell yeah, guess color. again. Guess again. Um, I'm going to grab a little bit more. Magnolia. Let's see here. Oh, watch this. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I started kind of designing this. 
the wrong way, but I'll figure it out. All right, so now I'm gonna go back. Oh, oh, get so excited. Let's see, so I have my curly willow here. So this is actually gonna turn out to be somewhat asymmetrical, asymmetrical here. Ugh. Stuff is kind of hard to work with, okay. And just maybe, oh, that doesn't have the tip to it. I get really, really picky about Curly Willow. I like it. I like them to have their tips on them. But since this one doesn't, look what I can do here. We have the doorbell. I wonder if the UPS person's here, but we have the note on the door. They're bringing me presents. Bringing you, bringing you presents. Hopefully there's a present in there for me. <laughs> You see any other questions out there? You guys are pretty quiet today. No, but Greg Baker did say he's going to go out and buy some pantyhose, and then MP Marvin said, that's where <laughs> I draw the line, Greg. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so funny. Okay, let's see. So notice, here, I'll swing this around here again in a second. Let's see if I can actually, this one actually might be a bit too, actually, that'll work. Ooh, here, hold on. Let me, let me. Because then I'm also going to ask you another question. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to swing this around. Kind of got a squint here. I don't like this piece. I'm going to move this back over here. So I actually was going to see this was framing for a second but then this piece kind of wrapped around here so i just left it so it's not really framing anymore so notice though i have some curly willow going around and some uh, magnolia coming up over here so you just get some depth and really cool interesting things going in and out here so did we get any more answers on the color harmony all right well I can elaborate on it I don't know if that, that's a that's a interesting color harmony can I say um, I believe it was like a neutral analogous what do you think Leanne it's a, that's a, it's, it's an interesting one I can't remember what I was going to put in here or monochromatic it's almost a tinge tones and shades of peach or analogous would be the sort of burgundy from the throat over into the peach and ivory. That's a toss up. Yeah. That's a tough one. So I think, yeah, I would say either or. So I guess I'm just gonna keep using what I have here. Why not? So we have people watching us on their iPhones, their iPads, their computers, and their big screen TV. Oh my gosh, I'm on the How big cool screen. How cool is that? So that's a question for the people. What piece of equipment are you using to watch this live? That's a curiosity I have. How are you watching Marisa? And this is the question that I have for you. How big of a screen am I on? That's <laughs> what I want to know. Do you, have, do you happen to have like a home movie theater? So. <laughs> She's stuck. Oh, this She's is. She's on the big screen. This is looking really Gayla good. Lowe just joined in. Hi, hey, Gayla. Gayla. Thank you for all your help last weekend. I was just going to say, yeah, she came in and helped us last weekend for the ninth moon. She made, what, 200 of those bamboo thingies? I yeah, know. and it was oh te te tedious, but she, she pretty much finished in about, I think it was like six hours she did 200 of those, so good job. Uh, let's see, what else can I put in here? How about these? Lacquered maple leaves. What do you think about these ones? These will look pretty fabulous. All right, I'm going to swing it around again. Okay, so looking at this, I don't know if you all could have, if you saw it on, oops, on your side, but on the left side, <clears throat> it's a little, it's a little dark. So I'm going to probably add a few more materials on that side for just some more contrast because like I said it's quite dark and what do you say that I'm going to or what do you ask that I'm going to add I don't I don't know yet 
<laughs> something else though. Okay, so I'm gonna swing that around again and see if you can see it. It may look different from that side because the lights are shining on it. But when I turn it around, this area seems just a bit dark. So let's see, what can I put there? Hmm, let's see, maybe even looking through the Nandina, seeing if maybe some of this brighter Nandina will work. I'm looking at those mustard colored spray roses that possibly could work. So I'm going to swing this back around. Let's see. I can't, okay, this again gets me excited. Even just that one little piece just brightens that up just a little bit. It's, it's just, oh, just like I said, the little things that makes us happy, right? So let's go ahead and try to add those little spray roses in here. Um, unfortunately, I do not know the variety of these, um, but they're kind of like a, a gold-ish, mustard-ish color. So I'm gonna just take off a few here, and I think, I think this is gonna work. I'm gonna place some. Just right here. You have a question or a comment, Caledonia? What is that greenery you're using to lighten up that one side? Um, oh, thank you for asking. That was Nandina. We have like a Nandina forest right now in our <laughs> um, warehouse. It honestly is such a treat. I absolutely love Nandina. Um, it just, again, it just brightens things. Um, and on the actual, on their actual stems, um, they're, they, like, some stems, I don't know if you guys can see this over here, um, but some stems are all green. Some have some um, burgundy, burgundy to it. Some have a little bit of gold to it. So um, it's just such a fall type um, foliage. Oh, this really brightened it up. I love this. Okay, I just need to add just one more over here. They're loving the colors on that. Good. And they're watching you from a lot of phones, maybe <laughs> iPads and tablets, some laptops, and a 65 inch big screen TV. Wow, <laughs> that's a big TV. And I'm Michelle, a, teacher Michelle. Like a movie star. Us. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. <laughs> okay, so um, here we go. Do you notice here that um, it, the, the gold colored spray roses really brightened up that area? And if you also notice too, I don't know if you can tell, but in the cymbidiums, there's these little yellow little spots in their throats here. So that just pulls it all through. Um, so here, again, I went a little bit higher. Um, this is not gonna get in the way of the flame. So don't be afraid just to go a little bit taller. For candles, lighters, best investment you will make is one of these, these types of lighters, especially when you have to reach deep down inside your cylinder vases. Um, you definitely want to get these types. Yes, Leanne. We have somebody on Instagram wanting us to make sure and save our live. And so my question to you, I haven't figured out how to save a live on Instagram beyond the 24 oh. hours. So oh. if you know how, please let us know. I'd be happy to save it for you. So and teacher Michelle says hi. Hi Michelle, we miss you. <laughs> Roxy says it's gorgeous. <laughs> All right, so the last one, I think what, ooh, 10 minutes? Okay, let's see if we can do this really fast. You can do it. Ticket wizard. This one kind of has a lot of detail to it, but let's just see. Okay. So look how cool this vase is. It kind of looks like a mushroom actually inside, but unfortunately we're not really gonna see this. But um, I think this was a nine inch Lomi dish. It just sits almost perfectly in there, okay? So placing my foam in, this is kind of a lot of foam. So sorry. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cut it down here. Oh, well, this is gonna be quite, quite crooked, but we'll make it work. There, just like this. Here, 
That Jane one. Rasmussen is saying she loves the vessel. That was yeah. one that was gifted to us from a woman that collected containers for foil design, and there are so many great ones. They are just wonderful. Yeah, this was, and then again, that was just really what inspired my this creation here. Also, to the fact that I'm using um, amaranthus, I needed something tall so the amaranthus could um, fall forward. I'm just using clear tape. Look, all you have to do is just go up and around, up and around. Sorry again if that's too loud. You could use um, whoop, the green one if you wanted, the green waterproof tape, but I like to use the clear because this is clear and you can't even see it. And that sits just nicely right in. Okay, Caledonia has a question. Greg Baker on YouTube says, thanks to teacher Michelle for her video a while back about the bullion wire fire, uh, flower and the phalaenopsis orchids. Big hit for proms. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I'm actually going to use taper, uh, taper candles. Uh, these ones, I already put the um, stakes on here uh, so these can just be inserted nicely. So I'm going to again go off to the back here. This may be, again, something asymmetrical because that's just how I like to design. Depending on where you work, sometimes we like to keep the plastic on just to keep the candles nice and clean. However, I would uh, make sure to let your client know to obviously remove these. So I'm just gonna leave them on because it's gonna be too loud. Um, when I was actually making, trying to figure out what to make, there was one candle like this and I thought it was so pretty and it looked really well with this. So I was like, well, Let's see if we can figure out how we can use three different color candles. And I actually don't mind it. I think it looks kind of neat. Question is, did you anchor the Lomi dish to the vessel at all? Whoops, um, I did not. Um, it fits quite well. However, you can. You definitely can. Uh, you could take your, I'm going to move these back just a little bit. You can take your tape and go over here so it doesn't um, fall forward. I have to fix this because, again, going backwards. Okay, I only got this far when I was thinking about what I, what I was going to do, so let's just see again. Okay, grabbing some Fatsia. Can you all tell that I just absolutely love Fatsia? Definitely one of my favorite. These are really great for, again, breaking the line of the container. Caledonia has another question. If you have wet foam left, how long will it last without getting contaminated? Say that again. If you have like wet foam left, how long will it last before it starts to get oh, contaminated? Oh, yes. That's a really good question. Obviously, honestly, in my opinion, when it starts to get really stinky. <laughs> um, I would say at least, I mean, typically flowers last about five to seven days. Um, so contem that, that's a really hard question because certain flowers um, deteriorate faster than others. Um, so I would, I would say at minimum like seven days or so, um, but sometimes foam can last a little bit longer. But like I, like I say, I've said to the class, if you ever walk in to your flower shop and it smells really stinky, it's probably your oasis bucket. So you should probably clean that out. wanted to show you this really quick. Okay, I'm, I'm doing okay on time. Um, we had the seeded eucalyptus in the uh, warehouse. Um, the leaves looked not very good. So I just took off all of the leaves and look what I got. So sometimes you don't throw this stuff away. You can reuse it. Okay. So shout out and thank you to Susanna C. Depp because she sent us a direct message with, quest with steps on how to save the live video. Oh, so we'll give it a shot. Awesome, thank you. Huh. Nice. Okay, so just adding in some of this, just some of the seeds from the eucalyptus. Okay, let's see what else. What else? What else? Maybe some more magnolia. Our technology team is having trouble back here since David stayed home. We've got a computer dying, the camera's going, but you know what? We're making it. I'm 
going to keep going because I'm having fun designing. So. <laughs> Me and my man will just keep crying. <laughs> it's hard on this side. <laughs> See, now you know how I feel. Andrew says, I hope you all have stock on Fatsia. Stock on fat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. So, again, I wish some of this um, magnolia was just, oh, as I'm breaking it down, I'm breaking the leaves off. So just Huge please. thank you to Agnes for sharing this stream. I appreciate that. Um, thank you, Agnes. If you want to share, do so, because let's let Marisa go around the world. <laughs> okay. So, just basing some foliage down here at the bottom because this is going to be you know for all of you that know me I'm a very simple but impactful type of designer oh, I just got to think about what I'm going to put here in the center how about maybe three roses for some emphasis and I just keep looking at the time here because I don't want to go over and I want to finish Okay. And that'll just be a huge surprise when you come around or I turn when I turn this around. So I'm just gonna group a few of them together. Woo! I probably should have uh, taped this in because it actually slips a little bit. So just be careful. So maybe one there, one there. Do any of you do do that to your roses? You really have to do it kind of hard. You can't, you know. You can't do that. You have to really put a little bit of effort into it. And then maybe another one over here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. Look at how cool this looks, I love it. Not done yet. Cause then let's talk about this amaranthus that again, I found in the warehouse that looked, hold on. That looked very, very sad. Oh, that is sad. Oh, yeah, but this is the same stuff. Whoa! <laughs> no way! It is. Oh, my God. Yes, it is. You're the flower whisperer. I do carry a magic wand in my back pocket every once in a while. <laughs> um, I took up all the leaves. Used Design Master Herber, uh, Herber, Uber Matte Radish. That's what I used. Okay, so let's see. Let me turn this back around because I still need to add a few more things to this. Um, like I said, it is quite minimal. Um, how about some more Revelia? All right, so what do I have? Four more minutes? Oh my gosh, I have to hurry. <laughs> I think I have four more minutes. Do we have any, you guys, I don't have very many questions today. You know, they're in awe, they're loving it, they're saying you're doing a great job. And oh, good. And just the best ever. Oh, good. They said they want you every week. Oh, no, they're you not. Know. You're lying. They're not That's saying right. that. That's right, they said, see you, Leanne. <laughs> they're like, Leanne can stay in the back, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I just need something right there. Maybe this will do. Let's see. Designing so fast. Let's see. They're whispering. I don't know what they're talking about. Well, we're still trying to figure out this technology stuff. <laughs> oh. There's a small chance that nobody can see you. Oh, okay. Well, if you can't see, if you can't see me, I'm still designing, and I, I really wish you could. Well, this one seems to still be going, and you've got one minute and forty-five seconds left on Instagram. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this around. I still need a few more things here. Um, but look, oh, look what the amaranthus does. Look what that does. Just a few more things. Let's see. Oh, I feel like I'm running out here. These guys. My safari sunsets. Are you able to see comments on Facebook? Are they saying, no, oh, I can't I see? Oh. It's possible we're down. And I don't oh. It might have been the internet. Oh. It could be the internet. We don't know. My, oh, wait. It's just kind of blurry. Yeah. Oh, it's not showing up. Oh, it's this one's on your, it looks like you're going, but it's just not quite. 
Hopefully we finish that and it'll be fine. Okay. Well, seems like it's that's okay. I'll keep going. I I do, not even like loading. I do hope you all. Yeah. I do hope you all can see this though. Yeah, it could be our internet. Could be. It could, it could yeah. be our internet. Okay, maybe some. Ooh, maybe some eucalyptus on that David side. Says we're not down. So oh, you, okay. so you guys can see it. Yes. yes. <laughs> all right. I think I need one more. And one more rose right here. Oh, just so they can see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> just so they can see it. All right, so I'm going to place one more rose right in here. I'm almost finished. So a nice little grouping of roses there. And I think, I think that's just it, just simple. Um, this Again, this may not be your forte, but I like, I love just very simply stated impactful designs. Um, and honestly, amaranthus is one of my favorite flowers. So I hope you all like it. Whew. I finished right on time. Um, as always, um, is it, are we about 3.59? It's 4.01. Oh, it's 4.01. We got to go. As always, thank you for joining us. I th we will see you next week. Um, who knows, maybe me here. But as always, get out there and do something you love.